Let's not mistake people's weakness for wickedness. If we can understand this concept and see it for what it is, a weakness. Let me just give you an example. If your husband has gambled away all your savings, perhaps it's not that he hates you and he wants to ruin your life. Perhaps he doesn't even have a wicked heart. He has a weakness. And unfortunately, you have been the carnage of that weakness. But if you can see it for what it is and pray into that, you are praying from a holy, pure place. And I tell you what, when you pray for people in that way, the devil has nowhere to go. He's got to go back to hell. Let's not mistake people's weakness for wickedness. Moved into-